the meat production will double to 450 billion kilos of meat by the year 2050. And of course, the greenhouse gas emissions will double too. And I'm talking about kilos of meat every time, but of course we are talking about living and breathing animals. In a lifetime, the average European will eat seven sheep, 24 rabbits, 43 turkeys, 789 fish, a third of a horse, five cows, 42 pigs, and 900 chickens. So the average European devours 1,800 animals in a lifetime. If every person on our planet were to do the same, we would need 142 billion animals every year. In truth, the agricultural sector worldwide has gone off the rails. The cycle has become completely disrupted because we have started to produce meat as cheaply and intensively as possible. Forests in South America are disappearing because Europe demands huge amounts of animal feed. The gigantic factory farming industry in the United States, the huge level of meat consumption in the Western world, all at the expense of the climate, biodiversity, drinking water and food for the very poorest people on earth. If we don't change our eating habits, we will be consuming 450 billion kilos of meat by 2050. What does that mean for our planet? Dr. Steinfeld, what does that mean for our planet? What's your scenario? Well, there is a pessimistic scenario, and that is that nothing is done about it, and we continue to be produce uh, animals in the way we do right now. And in that case, the environmental impact is going to deteriorate uh, beyond measure. And there is a need to urgently address this issue and to deal with waste, to deal with greenhouse gas emissions, to deal with biodiversity losses. And uh, measures are available, technology options are available. What is lacking is the political willingness to act on these and to steer the livestock sector into a more sustainable way. But suppose we eat no meat for, let's say, one day a week. Will that have any positive impact on the environment? What do you think? Well, the uh, impact of uh, livestock production is probably disproportionately high compared to other sectors. So um, reducing uh, consumption is likely to have a positive impact on the environment. What do you expect? Are we going to eat less meat in the future? I think that the human health concerns and the welfare, animal welfare concerns and the environmental concerns will be uh, increasingly appreciated by a growing number in the public and that will lead to a slow decline in, at least that's my personal prediction, to a slow decline in the consumption of meat in particular. Okay, thank you. Dr. Steinfeld is not very optimistic but he also points to a lack of real political will to change things. Yet, is this enough to lead us to despair? Well, I don't think so. There are some rays of hope, tiny rays of hope. I think that is just because people simply don't know. I'm sure that if they knew, they'd want to change their eating habits. But even politicians, who you would expect to know more, haven't got the faintest clue. This became crystal clear during a recent debate on deforestation in the Dutch parliament. De ontbossing, meneer Bloms, zoals u weet, wordt voor een heel groot deel ook veroorzaakt door onze intensieve veehouderij. Ja, ik vind het altijd verbazingwekkend hoe de Partij van de Dieren in staat is om een onderwerp per interruptie te, uh, te, te introduceren wat absoluut niet gaat over de tekst die ik hier vooruit sprak. U moet mij niet kwalijk nemen dat ik geen idee heb wat de relatie is tussen intensieve vederij, veehouderij en de relatie tot ontbossing. Ik weet niet waar. Het spijt me. Maar dat moet ik helaas dat zie ik het altijd niet. op schuldig blijven. Nee, dat zie ik me waarschijnlijk niet, maar ik weet het gewoon niet. Maar in fact, it's all so simple. Less meat, fewer animals, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, reduced water use and less deforestation. Johan Rank has directed music videos for Madonna, Beyoncé and Robbie Williams. And when he heard about the environmental problems caused by livestock farming, 
he thought, shit, man. <laughs> and made a very simple yet very effective short film that I don't want to keep from you. In 2007, the English newspaper The Daily Mail published an article called Secret Plan to Turn Us All Veggie. And I quote, Secret plans to encourage the nation to give up eating meat are being examined by the government to help save the planet. A leaked email expresses sympathy for the environmental benefits of a mass switch to a vegan diet. That's interesting. How much could reduced meat eating contribute to carbon savings. Together with the Free University Amsterdam, the Nicholas G. Pearson Foundation set out to discover what kind of carbon savings could be made in the US if they all went without meat for one or more days. And this is the result. If all Americans ate vegetarian for seven days, they would save around 700 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions. That would be just the same as taking all the cars in America off the roads. Every single car. If everyone in America didn't eat meat for six days a week, this would make the same carbon savings as eliminating the total electricity use of all households in the States. This would result in carbon savings equivalent to planting 13 billion trees in your garden and letting them grow for 10 years. That's 43 trees for every American. This would result in carbon savings equivalent to halving the domestic use of all electricity, gas, oil, petroleum and kerosene in the United States. If all Americans cut out meat for three days, they would save almost 300 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions. This would have a greater impact on reducing global warming than if all cars in the US were replaced with Toyota Priuses. This would have the same positive effect on reducing greenhouse gases as replacing all household appliances like fridges, freezers, microwave ovens, dishwashers, washing machines, tumble dryers, and so on and so forth. And I mean replacing all appliances with energy efficient ones. Wouldn't that be great? What do you think? 
Would cutting out meat for just one day really have any effect? Well, I was flabbergasted with the results. If all Americans didn't eat meat for just one day a week, this would save 90 million plane tickets from New York to LA or from LA to New York. 90 million tickets each year just by eating 